Shorts are a great summer essential I know some may not be a fan of. I was there myself and if that's you, you probably just haven't found your type of shorts. There are athletic shorts, sweat shorts, cargo shorts, technical shorts, basketball shorts, and chino shorts. Probably more out there that I missed. And you gotta give them all a shot to see what you like because you can't say that you don't like a certain cuisine after just having one dish, right? I personally am on the athletic, technical, and sweats train. Those are just my jam as it suits my lifestyle of enjoying hiking, training, skating, and living in New York City where I have to walk everywhere in 95 degree heat. So I prefer having shorts cut above the knees, not too tight unless it's for training because that'll just get too hot and preferably has some zipper pockets as well. You may be on the Adam Sandler type beats, or you may be a frat dude who likes wearing boat shoes as well. Or you may be the one pair of shorts dude because you live in a high precipitation area. And that's what fashion should be, based on your lifestyle. So the question of the day is, what pair of sneakers goes best with shorts? I really think you can get away with any type of sneakers, so just go with whatever you like, because it isn't personal style if it isn't personal. And for me personally, I don't like wearing high top sneakers because I think it looks weird on me proportionally. I am a shorter dude and it just, just look kind of weird to me. Some people can pull it off that are short, but crew socks, I think most guys can pull it off. It definitely suits the vibe. And it's going to add some extra color, fabric, or a pattern to your fits. And that's totally up to you. If you don't like crew socks, you can always opt out for the no-show sock. But really, you can go for any shoes. Dress shoes actually look really good with shorts as well. Runners and Vans so happen to be my favorite though. Hopefully you found your pair of shorts and sneakers. So as we put the fit together, get creative with your tops. Look out for graphic tees, pattern tees, maybe try on button-ups, anything that'll give your fit some more taste. And I'm not saying basic tees don't look good that's far from that but if you do go for a basic tee i believe that it looks best to go for an oversized one as this changes your outfit's proportions and will provide ventilation because some fitted tees can be too tight to where it's hugging right up against your body and it almost defeats the purpose of wearing a short sleeve but if you do want to wear a fitted one i would suggest wearing one with more performance fabric so something that is sweat wicking and more breathable that's what you want to go for but johnny what about layering well i'd say the only time you could get away with layering in the summer is wearing a basic tank top with a button-up short sleeve that's just what i enjoy doing my boy devin throws on an extra sweater around him for a pretty casual sleek look that can also provide extra warmth if it does get cold outside we all have that one friend whose apartment is just way too cold but tanks in an overshirt is always a vibe as they have a deeper collar so paired up with a light layer like this linen button-up makes it a completely different look than just a regular tee you could also get away with performance layers and overshirts something like this lululemon overshirt that's stretchy water repellent and breathable now let's just say you're watching this in the spring or fall where it's colder in the morning and it gets warmer in the afternoon but nothing too crazy you can always style shorts with a crew neck or a hoodie i've always liked the look you're mixing different seasons at this point as that's what spring and fall is a transition you could also layer with overshirts and light jackets that's always a good look as well you'll never know what you like until you try it yourself now that you've got a full fit this is where you want to throw on your accessories now summer in general just isn't my favorite season for fashion for obvious reasons it's a lot hotter there's less layering so accessories are almost required to give your fit some more depth so here's a plain fit shirts shorts and sneakers pretty basic but once you throw on some accessories it's a vibe now i think the best accessory to pair with shorts is definitely the cap shorts are already casual and more associated with athleisure as those are just the most popular pairs of shorts so a cap is only fitting have fun with your headwear game i definitely recommend a variety of styles and colors and i know you see it all over online but tote bags are great and pair really well with the cap just make sure you're actually using your tote bag otherwise you look kind of goofy then yeah yeah you guys know jewelry is just always recommended for everyone it always looks great and you'll never see me walking out of the house without some sort of jewelry but if you do get bored of let's just say necklaces then try out a bandana this is another way to add a layer to your fit that isn't really going to overheat your body this one is from y3 and it's 3m reflective i'll definitely be needing that whenever i bike around the city at night and i think it just adds a cool touch to any fit the shape the reflective cord it adds texture and doesn't make me feel overheated and there are plenty of other people who styled bandanas in very creative ways that's the point you want to get creative with it especially because it's summer step up your accessory game and the last tip i got for y'all is color no more sad boy wardrobes best place to start is with colored accessories like caps then you can move on to different Different color tops and shorts something like this color blocked one from Ame Leon Dor. since it's summertime when you wear shorts why not embrace the colors so here are some fits 
starting with this one that incorporates the Ame Leon Dor shorts. This one is the colorful fit for summer. I threw on this oversized cream tee from Ore NYC. I cuffed it twice so I can get a little more airflow and it makes the top look different than its standard fit. Also, quick reminder, if you guys liked any of the shorts, I will leave a bunch of links in the description where you guys pick some up. The hat is also from Ame Leon Dor and it's the same color as the shorts. I think it's a creative play on the way the shorts itself was designed. There's like green, cream, and black details. So I just lean into it for the whole entire fit. I threw on that bandana since the tee is just one solid color. If I wore a pattern tee or something like that, I wouldn't do this. And I think it looks pretty dope. Then crew socks and the Niger 2s. People have this weird thing with contrast. Like, oh, you can't wear black crew socks with white sneakers. Well, if that's the case, then you probably shouldn't be wearing black pants with white sneakers. Just a thought. Now to satisfy you sad boys out there, let's go for an all black fit. When I wear all black in the summer, I make sure that the fabrics are breathable. Top is the Uniqlo oversized Aerism tee, my favorite tee ever. Uniqlo's Aerism technology is cool to the touch, moisture wicking, and very breathable. There's a massive difference between this tee and the last one. Then we got black shorts. I've really been enjoying these Nike ACG trail shorts. There's a built-in adjustable belt. It's water resistant and has two zipper pockets, which is really nice. Then just throw on any color cap of your choice and whatever kicks you like. In this case, I'm rolling with these slip-on Vans and my choice will change all the time. And if I wore a more street sneaker, then I would pair the fit with a more street bag, something like a tote bag or a sling messenger bag. If I wore a more tech sneaker or a runner, I will probably lean into that tech look and throw on a tech sling bag. Remember, this whole entire fit is functional. It's breathable, moisture wicking, or water resistant. And because it is more low key and minimalistic, it does lean towards that gray man tech look, which is totally cool. And if all black isn't for you, swap your shirt for the white airism shirts and and play with contrast color blocking. Solid white tees are kind of hard to wear in my opinion at least. So I like to keep the rest of my fit mostly black to compensate for how bright the white tee is. And when black shorts get boring to me, I will swap it out for the brown colorway just to keep things fun. Next up, we're really going to lean into the tech vibes with a more minimalistic tech wear outfit. It's kind of in the middle of athleisure and tech wear. So it's more like active wear, I'd say. Starting from the top and working our way down, we got a Nike dry fit cap that obviously dries very quickly. The overshirt is the Lululemon Lab Confluence snap down overshirt. This is a really nice overshirt that has that Mr. Fantastic type of stretch. It's breathable and water repellent, and I really enjoy the hardware and the Mandarin color as well. It's a clean, minimal shirt. I got a Lululemon tank underneath that's also sweat wicking, 3M reflective, and has anti-stink technology. So that just means more wears, less washes, longer lasting. The shorts are going to be the same as the last fits, only I'm throwing compression pants, aka leggings for dudes. And the kicks are the Element 55 runners that I still really like. Oh yeah, and I also threw on a messenger bag that uses Uniqlo's Block Tech technology, making it waterproof, keeps your goods safe. I also have the light gray version as well, which looks pretty awesome. And yeah, this is a hybrid of more athleisure, active wear, and tech wear. This mainly focuses on the performance, not the aesthetic. So it's not full tech ninja. And the last phase of fit I think most people will enjoy. We've got on the Nike ACG cargo shorts. Think of these as the trail shorts from earlier, just with a lot more premium materials and has cargo pockets. The water repellency is also way better. Then I throw on the Air Force Ones in the Mantra colorway. With Air Force Ones, I think it's worth it to spend that extra 20 bucks so you can get the craft model, which uses a lot more premium materials. And this one in particular has a cream hue with that pop of orange, very beautiful. So I threw on some cream socks as well. Anyways, I know a lot of these fits incorporate Nike sneakers. So feel free to branch off into Adidas sneakers or something like the New Balance 327s. I really dig those sneakers. I could easily replace this fit with the Yeezy Power Phases. Remember when those were hyped? And I still think it looks quite nice. I made sure to bunch up the socks a little bit as I think it looks better and more casual than if it's super tight up against your leg. We got a tank top with an APC necklace and the Uniqlo jersey work shirt jacket. I made sure it was cuffed, really digging that. Then I topped it off with this Chicago hat that I got from the Sears Tower. That navy complements the jacket and the brown leather patch is a complementary color to the navy, which I actually burned the leather patch myself with a uh, torch burner. And I think it really pops. Let me know what your favorite fit was in the comments down below. If you guys liked any of the shorts, there's gonna be a bunch of links in the description where you can pick some up. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys join my Vibely community. This is a place where you can share your fits, get some feedback, meet some new people. And I'm in there all the time interacting with you guys. The link will be in the description. And until then, stay fly. Deuces. Enjoy the summer, everyone.